Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy and welcome back to my Logic Pro 11 Essentials course. In this video, I want to demonstrate one final edit tool feature in Logic Pro called Click Zones. Click Zones allow you to add and edit fades, make selections and deletions like with the marquee tool and do quick swipe comping all with the pointer tool. So this can give you sort of like a one tool workflow. And if you've ever used the smart edit tool in Pro Tools, this is very similar to that workflow. So to turn on click zones, you're going to go up to Logic Pro Settings General, and then from here, you're going to go to the Editing tab. And right here, you'll see an option that says Pointer Tool in Tracks provides Fade Tool Click Zones, Marquee Tool Click Zones, and Quick Swipe and Take Editing Click Zones. Let's just start with the fade and marquee click zones for now. But before I demonstrate each of these, I need to give you a quick word from this video's sponsor, Boombox. Boombox is the quintessential collaboration and creative platform built by music producers for music producers. With Boombox, you get secure file storage that keeps your music safe and sound, collaborate with others effortlessly, invite them to your projects, and receive time-stamped feedback right where you need it. Plus, you can set up personalized inboxes for clients to send files directly to you. You can manage your projects on the go using their mobile apps for iOS and Android, or upload big files directly from your desktop with their Sync app for macOS. Showcase your talent with a custom artist profile, connect with other artists around the world, and you can tap into the power of Boombot AI, your personal virtual co-writer. So why wait? Visit boombox.io today and sign up to get four gigabytes of free storage or upgrade to one of their pro or premium plans for up to three terabytes of storage. Okay, so I've got fade and marquee selected. We'll come back to quick swipe comping in just a bit. But essentially what the click zones do is they sort of separate the region into different editing zones. So first let's talk about the fade click zones. You're already familiar with the trim tool. That's a click zone that's on all regions, whether they be audio or MIDI or pattern regions. You can hover your mouse over the lower right or left side of any region and trim that region. We've also talked about the loop tool, which normally is up at the top, the upper right corner of regions, and this lets you loop out regions. Well, when you use the fade click zones, the loop is toward the middle, and at the top, there is a fade click zone. So you can click and drag in and create fade outs. I can trim this up and then go to my fade click zone and add a fade here. Now, when you're working with fade click zones, you can hover your mouse over the top part of the fade and you can click and drag up and down to change the shape of the fade without having to use the fade tool or any shortcuts. And then you can grab this area here to extend or shorten the length of the fade. Fade click zones can also be used to create cross fades. Simply drag to the right on any joining point between two regions to create a cross fade. And once again, if you hover your mouse above the fade, you can adjust the position of the crossfade and the sort of shape and slope of the crossfade as well. Next up, let's talk about the marquee click zone. So the way this works is the top of any region is going to be the pointer click zone. So this is where the pointer tool can be used to move things around, select a region. But if you hover your mouse over the bottom part of a region, you'll get the marquee tool, even if the marquee tool isn't selected. So for example, if I wanted to use my gain tool, I could hold command to access my gain tool, hover my mouse over the top of a region to use the pointer tool, and then hover my mouse over the bottom of the region to use the marquee tool. So if I wanted to do some heads and tails editing here, I could just drag over these gaps, hit delete, you can also make a selection with the marquee click zone and then click at the top to separate just like you could with the standard marquee tool. And so this is just a great way to use the marquee tool as sort of an extension of the pointer tool. And once again, I can add fades to all of these. And you can see that because I have multiple regions selected, the fade click zones will actually apply to multiple selected regions. So you can sort of add multiple fades all at once using the fade click zone as well. 
Now I should mention that the marquee click zone will work on any type of region, while the fade click zones will only apply to audio regions. These are not available on MIDI type regions. Okay, so I'm more of a fan of just using the marquee tool as its own dedicated tool. So let's come back up here to settings, general, editing, and I'm gonna turn off the marquee tool click zone for now. And let's talk a bit about take folders and quick swipe comping real quick before we turn on this click zone. So in previous videos, I demonstrated that you can record multiple takes into a take folder, and then you can drag over these gray areas and move these takes up into the composite take. This is a great way to take the best parts of multiple takes and combine them together to create a flawless composite take. One of the other things I mentioned is that if you need to take a selection like this, and maybe I need to shift it over or edit it in some way, you have to click right here. And this switches between quick swipe comping and just normal edit mode. So when you see the scissors, that means you're in normal edit mode. When you're in normal edit mode, you can use all of your edit tools inside of the take folder. So for example, if I needed to make a cut here, just like so, and then maybe shift this over because the timing was a little off, I could totally do that. Then I could switch back to quick swipe comping and I could readjust my quick swipe just like so. The quick swipe click zones essentially get rid of this option and you no longer have to switch between quick swipe comping and editing mode. So let me show you how this works. I'm gonna go up to Logic Pro settings general again, go to editing and let's turn on quick swipe and take editing click zones. In fact, let's turn off the fade click zones for now as well. And you'll notice that that option is no longer there in the take folder. So the way this works is if you hover over the bottom part of a region or of a take, this is going to give you access to quick swipe comping. If you hover over the top part of the take, this will allow you to use any of your edit tools and edit just like any other region. I could use the pointer tool to move the take around, or I could use the marquee tool to split it and then move it where I want it to go. So you can use any of your normal edit tools on the top half of the take, and then you can use quick swipe comping on the bottom half of the take. So this is a great one if you're doing a lot of like nudging clips around and you just don't wanna have to keep switching back and forth between quick swipe comping and editing. Now I encourage you to experiment with these and using them in different combinations. The great thing about the click zones is that you can turn them on or off individually, which you can't do in a lot of other DAWs. But with all three of these on, it can really speed up your workflow because you're essentially using a one tool workflow for most of your editing tasks. But like I've said before, Logic has multiple ways to complete most tasks and click zones are just another way to edit without having to change tools all the time. So it's up to you whether you wanna use this workflow or if you just prefer switching back and forth between different tools from the tool menus. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.